And I heard about an amazing elementary school that was changing the lives of children in one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Los Angeles. I knew I had to share their story with you. Take a look. Hi, my name is Brooke Jackson. I'm the principal at Center for Advanced Learning. Cal is a hardworking charter elementary school. We service students from K to 5 in South Central Los Angeles. Most of our students here at our school, 98%, are Title I, which means that the families live below the poverty line. This neighborhood sits right actually in the intersection of about 14 street gangs, and most of them are rival street gangs. Home life for some of our students looks pretty grim. Most are come from one parent households. A parent may be working, maybe not working. Uh, families living together, maybe eight to ten members of the family living in one or two bedroom apartment. Our families work incredibly hard, but they are not always able to give their kids what they would really want them to have or even have it for themselves. Even though our students come from a challenging neighborhood, they know that when they come to school here at Cal, it is a safe place to be. From the time that they walk into our doors, they are greeted and loved and respected and cherished and encouraged to be the best versions of themselves possible. They are resilient. They walk through the doors with big smiles on their faces, and you would never know that things that are happening at home, in the world surrounding us are even happening because they don't show it. And they're so brave. They put their little backpacks on their backs and sometimes walk home to neighborhoods that I would be afraid to walk in. I've been doing this now for the last 16 years, and this by far is the best school I've ever been placed at. It is powerful when parents come to you and they say things like, your school has restored my faith in community school. This is not their end. This is maybe where they're from. This is not their future. Here at Cal, we're teaching our students to make good choices. They know that we believe in them, that they can become the doctors, the lawyers, whatever they want to be, they can become. And those are the things that we instill in our students because we love them. I cannot wait for the day when a student comes back and says, Mrs. Jackson, this is what I've done. You told me that I can do this, that I believe in you. And you're better than what you may see around you. And I want to see that you succeed. And that's what our kids get here at Cal. Brooke and Joanna, uh, you have worked there, you said 16 years, that's how long? 16 years with school districts, yeah. five years at this school. At that school. And four years. Four years for you. Yes. Um, it is uh, a, a challenging school that most teachers would say, you know, I, I'm going to go to another school. I'm going to do, I want to help and I want to be a teacher, but I don't want to be in that neighborhood. Yeah. What made you choose Cal? Our school, when you walk through the doors, exudes love from the teachers, the families, it's the best place I've ever been. I love it there, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I've always known that I wanted to teach in an environment where kids really needed me. Not the kids who were going to be successful, kind of no matter where they go, but kids who really needed somebody to believe in them, to really genuinely care about them, and to push them beyond what they ever imagined they could be. Amazing. So well said. Thank so the school is in such a bad neighborhood that it's on lockdown a lot, right? Yes, yes. In the last six weeks, we've had four lockdowns, one with gunshots right across the street from the school, the other with police officers asking us to go on lockdown as the students were on the playground. The students know exactly what to do. Our staff knows what to do. We get into the room. We're not scared once we're in our safe classrooms and our students are able to learn. But yes. How do they, I mean, they obviously live in the, uh, those neighborhoods, so they're used to gunshots. And unfortunately, probably that's, they're just used to it. Um, but how do you get them to focus in class? Well, they really do follow our lead. So we create an environment where they understand that they're incredibly safe where we are. It's kind of like a, a little bubble. So we get in, we kind of settle them back down, calm whatever fears they have, and then we just proceed with business as usual. And they follow our lead almost instantly. Amazing. And no matter what is going on and the fact that these, these kids, you know, are against all odds, they have the highest scores. Yes. Uh, the yes. highest scores. Yes. The highest scores. Yes. 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 I mean, they and how many? There, there are like three hundred kids in the school. Three hundred sixty. Well, we couldn't get all of them here, but there's about forty of them here. You want to see? What? No way! So proud.
proud of you guys. You you are really something special to overcome what you're overcoming. I applaud you. And that you're going to school and you're learning and you're making good grades. Mm -hmm. And I know the school needs everything. It needs, yes. you know, lots of things, art supplies and, and computers and everything. Yes. So uh, our friends at Shatterfly want to help out with some stuff. Let's walk over here and let me oh, show you what we're going to give you. and computers and, and you're going to get all these art supplies and all kinds of different things that, it, 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 it's great. And then also, uh, we just we just love what you two are doing and we love these students. So Shutterfly loves inspiring stories like this and they want to help out. So they want to give you 50000 <laughs>